Baby, we did it. Uh, you know, I, I don't, don't, I'm just doing my, I'm just being myself. I, I, this is who I am. I like to look good and whoop ass. It's what I do best. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be nobody but me. You know, uh, September 27th, I'm going to rip, uh, rip Dustin's head clean off. You know, it, ma it makes no difference about nothing. Dustin, a little pee head. Dustin thinks it's all talk. Dustin thinks it's all talk, but when he wakes up with his nose plastered on the other side of his face, he's going to know it's not all talk. Of course, man. Easy because money. I oh, change of course, your bum got life. Money, man. I can make you Look rich. You, man. I change your bum life. You fight me, it's a celebration. Of course you can. I would beat you. When you sign to fight me, it's a celebration. You ring back home. You ring your wife. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Conor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. We're rich, baby. So don't say you would not take that fight because you would take that fight like everyone else up here would take the fight against me if it was offered, regardless of belts or any of that shit. I'm the money fight in the male, male shit at all weight division, so fuck everybody else up here. I don't, I say it how I want to say it, yeah? <laughs> the king speaks however he wants. Let, let's make a bet here. Let's, if, if you fucking have the how much? to do anything. With that half a million. You're making bets with that half a million I gave you? 48,000 you went from. You went from 48,000 to half a million. Thank me and be grateful. Be grateful. Okay, you done fucking talking now? Take this fight on two weeks notice with me, motherfucker, and I'll whoop your ass. Two weeks, three weeks, I thought. I butchered your face. I KO'd you. You were curled up like a bitch. You were curled up like a bitch. You were cool up like a bitch, I like, budgeted your body, you couldn't even lift your hands up. You couldn't even lift your hands up. You can do that all you want, but at the end of the day, the, the knockout speaks saying. for itself, and you hit the deck like a bitch. Connor, it got physical there at the end of your news conference. What happened? Uh, the man's afraid to look me dead in the eye. So he put a frame out in front of him, and I quickly snatched it and yeah, broke his right. wrist. You got a square little cheesy his little shot on my hand because... Little Get yeah, up on stage. You to sleep with your gear. It's a little, it's a, it's a little <laughs> suit man to the conference. Because I'm a don, and that's yeah, what dons you do. You got put out with that thing. Your whole suit, my socks were well, more than your whole suit you had yeah. on, you little bum. You broke. I get buy and you. I get buy and sell you a hundred times over. His chin, his chin is deteriorating. Every single contest he gets in, he hits one knee. He does a gust of wind, and he does the chicken dance. You know what I mean? <laughs> Coming up against me, that's not going to be good. You know, I'm going to crack him with a jab, and uh, he's going to wobble, and I'm going to put him away early. It's going to be a first-round KO. Mark my words. I was actually happy to see him. I shook his hand. I embraced him. I gave him a little cuddle. I told him everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. It will be over before you know it. Just please show up December 12th. So I, I don't want to scare him anymore. He's petrified. He went running before. So now I'm going to take the opposite approach. Cuddle him. Look after him. Whisper sweet nothings. Tell him it's going to be all right. It will be over quick. And hopefully get him, in, get him into that octagon December 12th. And then end his career. Um, my thoughts on Dennis Siever is he's a midget German steroid head. That's my, that's my thoughts on him, so I don't have any thoughts other than that. But if you think, you said congratulations, I'm now number nine. If you think I celebrate number nine, you're highly mistaken, my friend. I don't give a shit about rankings. As far as I'm concerned, I'm number one. And when Dustin's head clatters off that canvas, They'll, they'll realize, they'll realize pretty soon. Explain exactly why you wanted this fight. A lot of people seem to think that it's, uh, I don't know, a mismatch of sorts. Um, it, it is a mismatch. I'm gonna whoop his ass, I'm gonna collect the checks, and then I'm, and then I'm gone. <laughs> if he's still conscious when he hits the mat, I will crush his hips and pass his guard and mount him and you strangle got him. Out by two I'll nobody. strangle him. How are you the like best? Like a boa constrictor wrapped around his long frame. A boa constrictor no wrapping around a guys. gazelle. You were submitted by lames. The only approach I change is I dug the grave a little bit wider, a little bit longer for Nate's skinny, fat, long body. That's the only difference I made. Uh, look, don't get me wrong, I like the kid. He's a quiet little hillbilly from the back ass of nowhere. You know, I've nothing against the guy, you know what I mean? I'm sure he grew up in, in, a, in, a, in a circus or a fair. Or, you know, he's a nice little kid. He, so, Cletus, or you know, his cousin's probably named Cletus or something. I don't know. He's a nice kid, but his chin is going to be his chin is going to be cracked, and it's going to be cracked early. And 
I don't hit like these people. He talking. I haven't got experience at, at, at the top level. You know, he's he main evented one one UFC event and lost. I main evented my hometown and it was one of the best UFC events in history. And I, and I stopped the guy inside one round. So you know, I'm I'm experienced there. Uh, uh, he will he will know pretty pretty early that uh, that he's in over his head. He'll wake up and he'll bow before me. His head is too small. His little legs, his little core, his little head. I'm gonna knock him out inside four rounds. Mark my words. The talking is dumb. We're ready to fight now. This is just this is just bull all this. Just going back and forth. We're ready to fight now. It's primed. It's sold. Let's. Do it. They're trying to set me up at every turn out here. They're trying to catch me off guard. Trying to see me in an uncomfortable position. But I thrive in uncomfortable positions. There is nothing these can do to phase me. 28 years of age. I'm getting fight checks and promoter checks. My confidence comes from looking around at the division. I don't see anything in the division that troubles me, not one of them. They don't move like I move, they don't think like I think, and they don't talk like I talk. That's, I ha that's my confidence. You and 50 are two fake money bitches. He's bankrupt, and you're about to be. I'm not getting off this mic. I want him to come and take this mic off me. Otherwise, I'm taking over this whole shit. One shot is all it takes me. Check the facts. I bounce shots off there. I bounce heads off the canvas and dribble that shit. You do, you do something with that flag, I'll fuck you up. There's about it. That's it. That's it. There's about five grand in here. There's about five grand in here. Fuck me. Just now you do something with that flag. You ain't getting this bag or this money back, and I'm gonna fuck you up on this stage. Do they not know I'm half black? I'm half black from the belly button down. He could have rode off into the sunset 49 and 0. Instead, this is my first time in a boxing ring. And in six weeks, I run boxing. over quick and he's gone what am i supposed to do he's gone running again i don't know whether he'll be back all i know is that i will be there december 12th like i always am there people are always saying about the talk and i talk and i talk and i talk but guess fucking what i back it up i back it up hey weasel tell those fucking showtime bitches to turn the air conditioning up the champ champs rocking polar bear tonight you juice head turkey, and you juice head turkey. Look where you're standing now. Look where you're standing now, you two fucking bitches. You'll do fuck all. You juice head monkey, juice head monkey. Fucking ones. If that's all you work, you bitch. Where's the real money at? Yeah. Fucking one. Yeah. Do some slap head. Do a little slap head. Boom. You're too slow and too stiff. You're stiff as a board. I'd snap you in half. And, and that's it. I'm too quick for you, son. 
juice head, bitch. Look at you, you blown up bitch. Couldn't run up and open back from there without being able to fucking break you, fat bitch. You mean, you mean no one's gonna kick? No one's gonna knee? No one's gonna elbow? And, I, and it's against this little brittle hand bitch? The pain in this man's hands in the cold is unbelievable. He's in fucking bits with them little bitch paws. As a, an employee of the UFC, I would pay for every single one. <laughs> But, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of great stars up here, um, a lot of huge, huge fights. But let's see by the end of 2015. Let's see who has the highest pay-per-view numbers. Let's see who has the highest gate. Let's see who has the highest attendance. You know, because I am setting up for that, and, and we are in talks for big, big things. So, again, I won't look past Dennis. I will look through him, exactly where I plan on going, and then, and then carry on. But I believe 2015 will be my year. Um, I know a lot of the featherweights are bitching and moaning and hating on it, you know, but they, they don't have to uh, love it. They, they can even hate it, but they, they will be forced to accept it. This is Jay-Z's new album. The 444. I want you to take this and listen to it and learn. Learn how to build and maintain a real empire, not a fake empire. And when you're done with it, send it on to 50. And when you do, tell them Blanco sent you. What's your best friend, Jose? You little fucking weasel. There's ever a man that looks like a weasel. That's fucking it. You gonna do, you gonna stand up and do something? You sit down and shut your fucking mouth.